senators in the White House, and I invited them over, and many of them wanted to be here. And uh, as you probably heard, the vote just took place, and it was 90 to 8. That's a vote that we're not accustomed to, Mark. I have to say that. So congratulations. It's great. But I'm honored to be here today for the swearing-in of our new Secretary of Defense, Mark T. Esper. I especially want to thank Justice Samuel Alito, highly respected and a great gentleman, a great man, for joining us to administer the oath of office. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sam. We're also delighted to welcome several of Secretary Esper's family members and friends to the White House today, including his mother, Polly. Hi, Polly. Boy, you proud of him, Polly? Then you better believe it. Yeah. <laughs> His wife, Leah. Thank you, Leah, very much. And his three children, Luke, John, and Catherine. Thank you very much. Congratulations, too. Most importantly, congratulations. That's an incredible thing. There's no one more qualified to lead the Department of Defense than Mark Esper, a West Point graduate, great student, actually. Secretary Esper served our military for 21 years, including in the Gulf War. He also advanced U.S. national security in government and in private sector, most recently as Secretary of the Army, where he played a critical role training and equipping our armed forces. That's where I got to know Mark. And there was nobody that did a better job than Mark, and there's nobody that loves it more than Mark, and thank you very much. He's a recipient of the Bronze Star and Combat Infantryman Badge. He holds a doctorate in public policy from George Washington University and a Master of Public Administration degree from the John F. Kennedy School of Government at Harvard University. I am confident that he will be an outstanding Secretary of Defense. I have absolutely no doubt about it. He is outstanding in every way, and we're honored to have you aboard. And I would ask Justice Alito, please, to administer the oath of office. Thank you. Thank you. Bible, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, say your name. I, Mark Esper, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office. On which I'm about to enter. On which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, sir, very much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. If I may. Well, thank you, Mr. President, for your kind words for your confidence in me and for this incredible opportunity. And thank you, Justice Alito, for administering the oath of office. I really appreciate you being here this afternoon. I'd also like to, send it, to thank the Senate Armed Services Committee for its quick action on my nomination and for the strong bipartisan support that I received today from the entire United States Senate. It is an honor of a lifetime to be appointed Secretary of Defense and to lead the greatest military in history. And I will do so with that same energy and commitment to duty, honor, and country that I have for nearly four decades since my early days at West Point. Mr. President, it is a privilege for me and for my family to be here with you today. Thank you for your leadership and for your commitment to a strong national defense and to all of our service members. Our military has made tremendous gains in recent years thanks to your leadership, and we stand ready today to take on any challenge. And while our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines stand guard each and every day, we will ensure their families are well taken care of. On a personal note, I would like to thank my wife, Leah, who's been by my side now for 30 years as a military spouse herself, my children, Luke, John, and Kate, my mother, Polly, my in-laws, Tom and Vaughn, and my sisters who have joined me here today. 
and everybody else who's been a steadfast supporter of me over the years. Again, thank you, Mr. President, for allowing me to serve our great country once again as Secretary of Defense. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Come on over here. Okay. Yeah.